Hello and welcome to my show. It's called From My Lego Room because I'm doing it from my Lego Room, as you see behind me. I'm sitting in my Lego Room, I talk about Lego, I talk about everything going on on the YouTube channel and... Well, whatever. Everything. Basically. You might have noticed I'm a bit dressed up today. I've got the tie on, I've got a suit jacket. It says VPL Studios over here. It might be because of this. Wow, <laughs> we made it guys. We actually made it to 100,000 subscribers. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Thank you so much. It's been a huge honor to receive this and I've I feel like I'm giving an Oscar speech. That's not what I'm doing right now. Uh, but it feels like it because I've wanting I've, I've wanted to get this since I was like 12. That's when I started doing YouTube, and this has been a goal of mine ever since. Let's put it back there. It feels honestly super cool. It feels super cool to have your your own name on a YouTube plaque that says 100,000 subscribers and VPL Studios. I can't believe it. It came in the mail like a few days ago and we reached the goal about uh, maybe a month ago. Since then we've actually gained 10,000 new subscribers. So we're at 110,000 subscribers. It's moving and growing so fast. I can't believe it. It's It feels unreal actually. But I'm trying to enjoy it. I'm trying to capture it. If, I mean, I'm trying to capture the moment. Remember that this is something that I've been wanting to reach the this is a goal that I've wanted to reach ever since I was as I mentioned like 12 so I'm trying to live in the moment but it's hard it's going super fast back in like uh when was it a, like six or nine months ago we were at like 30,000 subscribers and I was so happy when it started moving upwards and we reached like 40 because I had been stuck at 37,000 for almost half a year then I switched to doing something else and this new kind of content that I'm doing where I build stuff and I show you guys the process and just build stuff from popular well it's it, popular culture pop media but it's, it's mainly been fallout and apocalypse related which is my favorite thing so it is reasonable that that would be the theme I'm going to explore more themes and I've mentioned that, but when I started doing these new themes, I felt like this is something that I can actually do each month because animations take so much time. So every animation I did took me about half a year, which is too much time to put on a YouTube video and people expect you to upload videos. I mean, every week, some people do it every week. I try to do it once or twice a month. And if I would have done that with animations, like st Lego stuff motion videos, that would have been so much time and such a little, like, I don't want to say unrewarding, because it's, it's, it's very rewarding to upload something and you know, see that people like it and watch it. But to d put so much work into one video, and it maybe turns out it gets like five to 20,000 views, it's not only for the views, of course, but this is actually my, my, my like main thing I do for a living right now. So if I would have done that with animations, I would have been so poor. <laughs> I could never have done that with... <clears throat> I could never do that with animations in the same way that I do it with, uh, with these videos that I'm doing right now. So I'm very happy that I switched do to doing these videos back in like around nine months ago and it's been going super well we finally reached 100,000 subscribers and it came as a surprise that it's been moving this fast but I'm trying and I'm trying to capture it capture this moment and like live in it <sighs> feels weird but it still feels like a dream that's that's why it feels weird because it's been a dream of mine That was the saddest <laughs> celebratory. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Yeah. All right. That's enough of that. Today I want to talk about a few different stuff. I want to talk about, well, mainly this, because this has been huge. But I also want to talk about the projects ahead. I want to talk about the future of this podcast or whatever uh, whatever it's called. Uh, some stuff like that. So let's just get right into it. I'm very new to this media. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do a podcast or... <sighs> What whatever, whatever this is, uh, I I guess I talk. I should bring some guests. I have a few friends in the Lego community. The problem is that they're Swedish, so uh, well I'm Swedish too, and I can speak English. So maybe that won't be a problem. I I'll I'll try to take in some guests and have them speak English with me, and we can talk about the Lego community and. Building Lego, Lego as a hobby, Lego as a as a like a work for my for for instance, my life is surrounded with Lego. Lego is everywhere. It's in my hobby. It's my work. It's my everyday like. I I appreciate Lego. It's in my Instagram feed. It's everywhere. So maybe I can talk about how Lego helps mental health. I know that's a big thing. We can talk about. I have one friend that does Lego magic, which is insane. I think he's probably the only one in the world. I don't know, maybe there's more. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know people that do Lego magic. I think it would be really interesting to have him on. Have, have him come here, do some tricks for me, do some tricks for us. You guys, uh, maybe he can uh, talk about... what He probably can't explain his magic tricks because a magician never tells, right? But... He can show us some tricks, maybe teach us something, something uh, easier, something that isn't that complicated. Because I would really love to be able to <laughs> do Lego magic. I have a friend that's an en uh, that's studying to be an engineer. He can probably tell us a lot about the Lego science, the Lego math behind it. We've been doing a lot of work together. We can talk about Lego Monsters, uh, because both of these people that I mentioned have been in Lego Monsters. One of them was in my season, and the other one was in season one in Sweden. So we can talk about shooting Lego Monsters. That's a fun topic to talk about, because I, I guess most people are, a lot of people are interested in how the show actually works and a lot of behind-the-scenes magic. I know every country has a different ways of doing it but i can talk about sweden it can be a fun interesting thing to to know to get like to get the insight on how everything works and the casting process and when you actually win lego monsters what's what happens then because that that was a process that whole thing took like one month of just figuring out how to do everything how to Pick your pieces that you win. Because in Sweden you win uh, Lego. That's the prize. Uh, and the prize was about 1 million Lego bricks. To pick that many bricks. That's a lot of work. So I had to sit there with my Google Excel. <laughs> and just figuring out every single part. Trying to figure out what type of part. And also the serial number and the the color code everything that was <laughs> that was a process <sighs> can talk about there's a lot of different topics to explore maybe i should contact some of the international lego youtubers or lego people in in the world overall like uh, YouTube creators. I've I, I know there's a Discord server I'm in. We can talk. We I can probably find some there and interview some other Lego animators. That would be super fun. The whole process is that I have to connect via Zoom or do the thing. Well, it's a process, and I don't have a team. It's only me. There's no one else here. I should definitely bring in my friend Oliver. He does the voice acting for the Dead Bricks. He does Robert, and he has now taken over Jenko as well. So he does a few characters on the Dead Bricks, and that's fun. He can talk about that experience. He just had throat surgery, so maybe he won't be able to talk that much, though. And maybe his voice changed. What do you guys think? think? Do, you, do you think that the voice 
Maybe his voice will change now that he has had his throat surgery. Hopefully for the better. But what if it turns out that he has this squeaky mouse voice and he talks just like Mickey Mouse? That would have been very unfortunate because Robert and Jenko from The Dead Bricks, my Lego zombie show, they do not have that those kind of voices. Hopefully he will be okay. Speaking of The Dead Bricks... I am working, well, I'm not working currently on it, but I've been working on it a lot and put it in, putting it aside for some bigger projects and I'm hopping on back and forth on the project because The Dead Bricks is a very time-consuming project to do. Uh, the Dead Bricks is a very time-consuming project. It takes a lot of time and effort to, first of all, write the script, then to uh get the voice actors, do the voice recording, and then animate, of course. VFX and sound design, it's just a lot of things to do. So it takes a lot of time. I hope you guys have understanding. I, I, I hope you guys understand. There has been a lot of understanding from you guys, so I, I appreciate it. It is a process, but I want to give you the dead bricks. I really want to. So this next episode is coming eventually. I'm going to finish this uh, Apocalypse City build first. So we have part two coming soon. That's the one I'm working on right now. But after that, after that, we should get the Dead Bricks episode six. Yeah, this uh, Apocalypse City that I'm building right now, it's going to look super cool. I just ordered a few parts and I just moved the whole city into different room. So now it will look much better in previewing the whole city when I'm going to do the full walkthrough and the review. I am building a little settlement. If you have played Fallout 4, you know that there's a city called Diamond City. I'm building a city very inspired by that one, which is basically metal houses and small buses and uh, just metal sheet houses on top of each other, stacked. That's the vibe I'm going for for this uh, this little city that I'm building. And it's going to be a settlement inside the big city. So we have the rooftop settlement from the first video. And then we have the Diamond City vibe. Uh, how the Diamond City vibe city in the second part. Oh, uh, I'm going to do another video on the, the Fallout Vault actually. Because I want to upgrade it. So stay tuned for that one. I just ordered... About 40 to 50 vault suits from Firestar Toys. And they are actually custom printed. So we have uh, the vault number on the back. We've de I've decided to, get, to give this vault the number 404. As in page not found. It's a fun little thing. Uh, and I thought it would be really cool to actually have the number on the back. So every vault dweller will now have the number on the back. I'm also going to add some new rooms, so if you have any suggestions, leave, in the, leave some suggestions in the comments. Huh. I want to rebuild the vault so that it looks a bit more... Uh, I want the, the ground to look a bit thicker. I, wanna, I want the floors to look a bit better, so I'm going to rebuild them a bit. I'm going to add some new rooms. I'm going to change all of the characters so that they have the new vault suits. And I also want to like thicken the ground floor and the walls to, to make it a bit more sturdy and to make it look better. So the overall goal of the next bunker video is to actually improve it and make it ten, ten times better. And maybe six to ten rooms bigger. Which is, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be... Even bigger than it is now. It's gonna look super cool. I'm gonna. I want to give a quick shout out to the chair I'm sitting in. Look at this. Isn't that cool? It's a custom designed, embroidered VPLO Studios chair. Special thanks to Arossi for sending me this chair. I just wanted to thank them for for doing that. It's a very comfortable chair. And look at this. Woohoo! Ah, I can actually lie down and just relax while doing this. Maybe we'll do that from now on. Ah, Alright, this is better. What does one talk about in a podcast? You know I had a, a Lego city when I was a kid? Probably most people do when they're like 10, 12. I had a Lego city that I built 
that I like built and played in every day with my best my two best friends. We were neighbors. So let me tell you the whole story from the beginning. Uh, when I was like seven, no, eight, nine, eight, nine, around there, my big brother, his friends came knocking on the door and asked if he wanted to come out and play. They were our neighbors, but they were also, uh, they went to, to our school and they were in his class. They went to the, they went in the same class. So they were like one, two years older. They came knocking on the door asking if he wanted to come out and play. And he actually said no. He didn't want to. I, I think he was playing a video game where he just wasn't feeling like it. And then I came up, apparently, my mother told me this. I, I came up and asked those kids that were two years older than me. So they were probably like 10, 11 while I was 8, 9. And I asked them, hey... I can play if you guys want to, <laughs> which is something kids do, right? I, I wouldn't do that now. I wouldn't go up to a stranger and ask them, like, if someone got rejected, I wouldn't go up to them and say, hey, I can do that with you instead of this person. But I did, and that started a long and beautiful friendship together with my two best friends from, well, my childhood friends. We started Together we started doing like this, uh, we started building a Lego city because I was a Lego enthusiast or Lego enthusiast. I was a kid. I loved Lego. So I, I loved Lego all back then already. My grandfather, he designed this special like, what you call it, uh, a table, but on the ground with wheels on it so that we could build a Lego city onto that table but we could also, when it was time to clean, we could roll it away so we didn't have need to have it on the floor. I could also roll it under my bed so that it could be hidden and we, I had more room in my room. We built a Lego city on that table or that rolling thing. And we built that Lego city every single day for like two years. Every day they came knocking on my door and we played we built that lego city together but most importantly we actually played in it every single day and we made up new stories based on movies we'd watched dreams we'd had uh, things we just things we just really wanted to act out from our imagination and that made my childhood those years was super important it was beautiful we just we kept on playing the same stories every time. So every every time we'd meet each other, we'd play the same thing. And we, we developed characters. We developed new stories. We developed societies that kept growing. The president was corrupt or the, the new bank robbers were in town or aliens invaded the city. And that was such an important part of my life because it, like it made me who I how I think about stories today and that's probably why I like telling stories so much in 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 YouTube videos in Lego animations or in building in in building videos or Lego buildings or Lego mocks I think that's where it came from it just I really like telling stories and living through these stories myself I think it's important to have friends like that, that you can just have unconditional friendship with and hang out with and you know what you're going to do and you're going to do it together and you're going to love it. Just you keep doing it every day. That goes away a bit when you're older. That's reasonable because when you're older you have responsibilities and you have things to do. But I would say if you have friends like that or if you have a situation that is similar to that really capture it and try to have fun enjoy it it doesn't have to be more than it is just enjoy what you have and enjoy hanging out with your friends build lego play with lego it isn't shameful if you're older 
I still do it. <laughs> it's my full-time job. That's just fine. Do it. And a lot of people, a lot of content creators, a lot of older people that still enjoys Lego, they talk about how Lego is important to keep being a child. To keep being having that inner child still left in you. So you don't take everything so serious. Because when you start taking the world too serious, it ends up being boring. It ends up being almost miserable for some people. I don't want that. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. You don't have to be an adult as you would imagine an adult is. You can be your own version of an adult. As long as you take responsibilities for your life, uh, I mean responsibility for your life and what the, th the things you do, you can still do whatever you want as long as you're a reasonable person. I would think it's weird from from if I would think about it being a 25 year old playing with Lego well play, I say playing with Lego because that's <laughs> that's basically what I do if we dumb it down I play with Lego every day and I get paid for it it's super weird and if I would hear someone say that without they getting paid most people would think that's weird but it's not. It's just a hobby. It's something you can do and have fun with. Lego is a very creative tool as well. It helps you get out that creativity. And it's a good way to play. Because you need to play. Keep playing even though you're an adult. And especially if you're a kid. Keep playing. Mo most of my friends start stopped playing and wanted to act like adults when they were around 12, 13. And that's way too soon to start acting like an adult. You can start acting like an adult in the ways you like try to have summer jobs. You can yeah, take responsibilities and stuff like that. But you should never stop playing. Especially not if you're like 13, 14. That's way too early. Man, I like this this thing. L just laying down talking that was a bit relaxing i feel like i'm in a therapy session skibidi toilet all right let's uh let's talk about something else important question for the people what is your favorite lego piece and in which color let me know in the comments whoa what are these effects this is insane. <laughs> I don't know. I'm recording with QuickTime. And Apple apparently... They love these things. That looks cool. That's fun. <laughs> Let me know. What part... What what Lego piece is your favorite Lego piece? And in what color? I'll try to figure out mine. And I'll answer that question. My own question. In the next from my lego room podcast episode you know what let's take a look at this one again that feels and looks so good to have my own name well it's not my name it's my youtube channel name <laughs> we did it guys thank you so much i'm not very good at this right i'm not very good at this podcast thing but I'll fight through it and I'll learn because this has only been episode two. I feel like I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. But I've got a microphone, I've got a camera, and you guys listened last time, so hopefully you listen this time as well. <laughs> like maybe let's do a Q and A. I really want to get some guests on here, but I need to get microphones for those guests. All right, so next episode, let's get some uh, Q&As going. I'll join the Discord server so you can uh, ask me things easier, easier, easier. Join the Discord server so you can ask things much easier. You, we have a Q&A section there, and we have just a nice community where people talk to each other. You can also ask me things on Instagram. You can uh, DM me, but the best thing is to just ask it when I do a Q&A thing on Instagram. 
then I'll easily er no no what is going on with my brain then I'll see it much easier I'll announce a Q&A soon uh, for the next pod episode how do you do an outro I don't remember how I did one last time I know let's go out with a bang <laughs> that was loud oh and it smells all right goodbye <laughs> thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and thank you thank you for 100,000 subscribers i'll see you in the next episode and i'll see you around on the youtube channel good evening this is the future of EPLO and you need to get better at talking in your microphone the right way and from the right angle, my friend. Keep that in mind until the next episode. Bye!